January 26th, Harley Davidson has just launched all of their new bikes for 2022. We're gonna get into it and we're gonna discuss everything. We're gonna give you our thoughts. Let's roll the intro and get into it. to the video guys i'm here with the coolest white guy i know jerry 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 let me get this thing now every time people see you now uh -huh. do the jerry chant all right so today harley davidson has done their new launch um so this is kind of how i want to break down the discussion i want to talk about a the launch itself then we're going to get into uh the baggers and the sts then i want to obviously talk about the fxr the fxlr st and the STs and everything else. Um, so we'll start with the launch. Um, my opinion, I thought the launch was really good. I think I think it was well put together. Um, very informative. I love the way they put everything together. With the uh, exception, I, I wish they at least would have had the bikes right there and did like a little walk around of the bikes as well. Like, like, not long, just maybe like a two minute thing. Like, Yeah, but they want to introduce them separately. That's why. I can understand that. Maybe at the end, he should have walked around all. Yeah, way. just to pinpoint them, even sit on it, whatever, quick. But I mean, I, I think overall, it was very well put together. I think it was really put together well compared to last year. It was it was shorter. Yeah. It wasn't as boring. Like I understand they got to do the history and the heritage, but they did it a lot better this year. Like a lot faster and a lot not dragged out and and no more. Straight to the point. And no more moma. It, it, it was it was straight to yeah, the point. Yeah, straight to the point. This is what we're doing. Straight this to is the what point. We're this is what the what the clientele wants. This is what we have. This is what they give you. And Boom, here it is, and that's it. Right from the get, I think Carly is is listening to everybody out there. Cheers to that. Yeah, yeah cheers, cheers to, to that. Corona. Thank I you, Harley. Stella. I got I got Harley. some. If you're listening cheers now, to I, got, you. I got some stuff in this video. You better listen to it too, because I got a couple suggestions. But otherwise, do, I think. Do, do you think Harley Davidson has watched my videos in the past? No, I'm saying they gotta watch your videos. I'm saying if they're watching now and. No, I, do you think they, they've watched my videos in the past though? I'd say yeah. Yeah? Yeah, I'd say mm. so. I'd say so. I, I, I bet money on I it. I think so. I have a special little surprise for you guys. I bet money on it. <laughs> yeah, I bet all my money on it. I, I think they're listening to the people, giving them what they want. And I know you wanna go in chronicle, you wanna go in different orders, but. Let, let, let's, let's keep it in order. Or what? No, what I'm there's say. cheers to two years. Two years of asking for, and we finally get a mini bagger. That's true. That's a double cheers. That's true. Thank that's you. True. We'll, we'll, we'll get into that when we get mm -hmm. into that, but. I just wanted to throw that cheers out there, because um, thank you, Harley. First things first, the ST models, the biggest thing. Mm -hmm. um, obviously, I, I, I love the ST models. Yeah. And I honestly, from the beginning, you and me ha have been talking, crunching numbers all yeah. week. And you were like, how much is going to be? How much is going to be? We were thinking what, 35? I heard 32 to 35. Yeah, we're, And I was like, that's too much. But yeah. in typical Harley fashion, we thought that's what was gonna happen. Exactly. But let me tell you. They proved us wrong. Bam, nailed it. 29,995. I think that's a perfect that's number. A, I think it's a perfect number too. Yeah, and then like for, for, for the average person, not, let's not get into that real quick. I just wanna talk about the STs first. Mm -hmm. The execution of the STs, like what do you think? I love it, I love the, the shorter, I always like the shorter bags. I prefer shorter bags. I had the longer bags on my road glide, and I thought it was cool because it was different from my street glide, but I actually prefer, because you, know, you don't even really get any kind of space off of it. It's honestly and mostly look. And if you're gonna run a two into one, yeah. or a shorter pipe, you have to go with the shorter bag. On my special, obviously you guys know I had the stretch bags, uh, and I love them, but I do prefer the mm -hmm. shorter bags. I, I wish it came with shorter bags. Yep. Um, the shorter bags, they, they look great. The shorter fender. The shorter fender looks great. Which yeah. right now I want to swap mine out yeah. and get that one. Get a color. And everybody's going with like the that. longer fenders. Like I, if I was keeping my street guide, I want to do the same thing. The I, I would just take the back piece off the fender and make the oh the back shorter. the rear yeah. one. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I would take. I would definitely if I was keeping my bike. Yeah. Well, what a lot of people were doing is that were, they were taking they were buying the limited fender and mm -hmm. putting it on the, the road bike. Yeah. That's what we're doing. No, I like the shorter fenders. I'm not sure about the they didn't do anything with the fillers. There's like a hole. But I'm sure you could put some lights in there, but then I think that would kind of they work. They have aftermarket lights for that. Yeah. yeah. Dio got them on his bike. They, I, they I don't like when good. people put a lot of lights on their bike. No, I mean, they, to me, it's it's, not it's not just too much. Christmas tree. Yeah. yeah, it's not a Christmas tree. It's not a, <laughs> um, you know, freaking billboard. <laughs> but we got some friends like that that put a lot of, a lot of lights on their bike. 
Um, a little ridiculous. We got um, we got the 117. Oh, that's yeah, that was which that is was great. awesome. Yes, even the air cleaner too. That's like a four hundred dollar air cleaner. Yeah, put air on cleaner was something. super cool. I mean, that's you know, I wouldn't buy that per se. If it came with the bike, it came with the bike. It came with the bike, and I wouldn't change it. No, I wouldn't change it either. Unless it would hit my knee, but on that bike, I don't think it would hit my you're, knee. You're really tall, though, but I don't know. Maybe. No, with the floorboards, I don't think so. On the Lowrider ST, it yeah, might hit my knee, because yeah. I got to check. For sure. But I wouldn't change that, but I wouldn't pay 400 bucks <coughs> for it either. But it's definitely worth it. It looks really cool. Yeah, it looks really cool. Um, the wheels. The bronze wheels from the Lowrider oh, S. And the engine stuff. The Lowrider S color. Oh, my God. Uh, yeah, but the, the, the gun taller ship, suspension. The taller suspension. So we got we got the taller suspension. Mm -hmm. We got a brand new short fender. Mm -hmm. um, the brand new fender, front fender. The too. brand new front fender was shortened as well, which I love. Um, we have the 117. We got a new brand new air cleaner on there. We got the solo seat as well. Yeah, see the solo seat. I'm not too keen on, but well, I understand why they did it because you're going to be changing it out for like exactly like a La Para or like exactly. I, I'm going to go San Diego Customs right away. Boom. Exactly. Right so, the bike that's, you know, so if you're going to save me money there and not charge, not push me into the thirty thousand plus and give me the solo seat, sure. I already got two seats at home yeah. for that. So I mean, and the, and the short bags as well. So yeah. all in all, I think they knocked it out the park. The bike looks phenomenal. Yes. I love Price the bronze. Price point is on point. Price point was right where it needs to be. Um, now, get into what I wanted to talk about. Um, for a person, not you per se or me right now, but you for person. Any, any person right now who is in the market looking to buy any bagger, you have a lot of options now. Oh yeah, a lot of, a lot options. of options. So it's now you're gonna have people who are gonna have the standard. Let's say let's talk about road life. Yeah. A standard road glide, which is uh, 23 around there. Uh -huh. A special, which is 27. Mm -hmm. And then uh, the up to S 30, yeah, depending 30, on paint. Um, depending on paint, yeah. yeah. Um, and then you have the ST, ST. which is uh, 29, right? Yeah, 30, 30. 30,000, 30, 30, right? And, and a CVO, which is 42. <clears throat> and, uh, yeah, yeah. So, I don't know. Like it, what, what I want to bring up to your attention is, is the average person going to lean towards more the ST now than the specials? Or, or is there still people out there who are going to still choose a special? A, because of the stretch bags. Um, two, because maybe the they, 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 they actually like the fenders. Uh, three, maybe Different because uh, of the, the bronze wheels. Maybe they don't like that. I know someone, I spoke to one of our friends today. I'm not going to say anything. Um, but he told me he just didn't like that. He chose to go a different route. Um, also, what else? Also, not to interrupt you, the specials you can get in Chrome. Which the ST is the all black. The ST is all black. Yeah. Good point. Good yeah. point. All chrome. So if you're somebody who's into all chrome, go you with might special. go all chrome with a 114 instead of a 117 blacked out ST. But now if you're a performance and guy. And a top seat. And a top seat. Because going to bring the top seat. Yeah. That's so true. It's, it's, a, it's, a, it's not much of a difference, but then it is much of a difference. I don't think way. it's going to. See, the problem is I don't think it's going to take away. It's, it's just gonna, gonna add on. It's gonna add on. I don't think. I think they got it where it's not gonna take away because they might sell more specials in Chrome and less black because people are buying SDs. Teeth. But I don't think it's gonna. It's not gonna cannibalize the specials. No, I, I think it. What, what, Even being that close in price, they're, they're so smart. And yes. in these last two years, Harley oh, Davidson yeah. has gotten on their horse and they've taken off. Right? Yeah. No pun intended. Absolutely. You know? But they are so smart because what this is going to do is that this is just going to attract more clientele. And it's not going to confuse people. No. And saying, oh my God, there's so many choices. What do I pick? Because the, yes, there are more choices, but every choice now is so different. Yes. So, so different. A lot more options. And, and a lot more options. You're going to have different people who are going to want to have that bike from the beginning set up a different way. Yes. Right? Yeah. So me, honestly, if I didn't if I hadn't, you would have, have an ST. If, if I didn't buy Absolutely. my bike six, seven months ago, I, I would have, I would have been ordering my ST right now because that's what I wanted. That's what I would be buying. That's too, what probably. I would have wanted. Stay for the Gunship Gray. Gunship Gray, yeah. which looks amazing. Gunship Gray. So the STs, Harley Davidson, we love them. Two thumbs up. Well, four thumbs up. Four thumbs up. Yeah. Um, we love them. Great job on the STs. Um, home run and everything. Home run. I mean, yeah, you could have put a better suspension. You'd put a somewhat little it's a, it's better a taller suspension. suspension. Taller suspension, but. I don't know. More lean angle for, for well, some are more dampening and stuff like that. Performance bagger. But then the price of the, the track. Uh, uh, yeah, you know, people say inverted forks too. But then you're talking a lot of money. <clears throat> you can't give. You, you can't have everything, everything you wish for because a number one, they're not allowed to put certain things because of laws, emission yeah, standards. Like the There's certain like things they just can't do because of laws. Well, plus the thing is, 
They can't sell it to you. Not everybody wants to change all that stuff. We do. And not everybody. And wants some to of the guys it. we ride with do want to. A lot of people. But a lot of people just ride it just like that. Boom. They just put an exhaust on it. That's what they a want. A sissy bar for their wife, and they're good to go. That's what they want exactly. So you know? this this little bit of for everybody. Yes. So baggers, amazing. The rest of the um 2022 uh, specials, we love. We spoke about that in the yes. previous video. So good job on there. Before this, like I was actually seriously contemplating buying a Reef Blue <coughs> standard for 23 grand. You know, and then doing all the work. Oh, now it's not, not. Well, right now, hold yeah. on to that thought. Because yeah. now we want to dive into my favorite part, my favorite subject of everything. The CDOs. No. <laughs> I mean, I love CDOs. Yeah, it's just uh, big I, I don't got CDO money, but <laughs> the Lowrider ST. Oh, my God. These touring lowrider asses, which, 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 if I have enough time to edit this video, you might see it now. You're going to see like a bunch of little different clips of me sitting in this garage for the past two years, even videos with you. Mm -hmm. And what, what have I been? Mini requesting? bagger. Mini bagger. Mini, mini bagger, bagger. Mini bagger. We're mini praying bagger. and crossing our fingers, and it's finally here. Guys, how many, what do you guys think, man? Like, what really? What, what do you guys think? Should, should, we, should we put it on the diner? Matter of fact, let's just mock it up real quick. Let's just put it in front of the diner real quick. How a lot of people want to put these FXRT fairings on their bikes now. Uh, me, myself, I thought about going that route with the Dyna. Something that they should also be looking at is making a, a like a, a soft tail, like a mini bagger type of thing, because that's what people want. Yeah, guys, how many, for those of you guys who've been following me for a long time, you guys know how, how much, how many times I've sat in this seat right here, and I said, Harley Davidson, I looked in this camera just like that, yeah. and I said, Harley Davidson, please, you need to make a please. mini bagger. A mini bagger. You need to give us what we want. You yes. need to give us what the people want right now. Because mm -hmm. that's what the rave is. And it's something that's not, it's cool right now. I think it's, it's going to sell like hotcakes. I don't even know if you're going to be able to get one. It's, it's, it's cool right now and it's here to stay. Right? Because they're priced right. We were arguing about that for three <laughs> days, let, four let, days. All right, let's jump into the price. Uh, can we have, can we have a double cheers double again? Double cheers again. Like what? You guys are doing, yeah. you guys are doing everything right. Mm -hmm. Twenty-one nine nine five, and the regular lowrider. Think about this. The regular lowrider is eighteen thousand out with no, the one seventeen. No, your bike was seventeen nine nine five. Yeah. Twenty twenty. This bike is eighteen four and change. It has a one seventeen. It has a one seventeen. Better gauge uh, position, I think. Yeah. Okay. And and a higher suspension. A higher suspension. For five hundred dollars more, not even five hundred dollars more than he paid for his bike two years ago. And it's a better bike. It's a better bike. It's a better bike. Hundred percent. Yeah. Now, if I wasn't gonna buy, if I was gonna buy one, I'm gonna buy the ST. But if I was looking like I was a couple years ago just to get one of those, but now for was it twenty five hundred dollar difference? I, I'm getting the bags in the fairing. It's, it's like it's, a no brainer. It's just, I mean, all right, so. Honestly, not everybody's gonna love that the the tour model. That's why you buy the regular one. People are gonna say, "Oh, I don't like the fairing," because you know when everything's new, people find everything ugly. Yeah, they do, right? So there's gonna be a lot of people out there who are not gonna buy it. They're gonna want the regular one because it just which is fine because it's a great bike. It, it takes time to grow on you, right? Me, honestly, I love the redesigned fairing. Mm -hmm. I, I think I even like it better than the original one. I'm oh, sorry. I do because remember, I thought when you had the Russ Warner, I thought it was it. ass. You I was like, it. that's ass. Don't you put that on your bike. You but I no love this fairing. This I, guy hit it out of the park. I absolutely time. loved it. The bags. Here's my thing with the bags. I love the Sport Glide bags, but guess what? The one on the right side with exhaust is, is a bit shorter. It might be an inch and a half, two inches shorter. It looks weird from the back. Why they would do that, I don't know. When the whole exhaust. craze is to do a two and a one, there's nobody running those stock double pipes. Nobody out there rocking that, man. Everybody's taking well, Unless they just want to keep the warranty and not do nothing to the bike. Everybody's taking that thing off. Mm -hmm. So why they would do that, I don't know. They should have just done, they, they should have redesigned a brand new 2-1, two two one. right? Well, I thought about that they could use the one off the sport glide, but they can't because the sport glide had forwards and it would interfere with the pegs. <laughs> yeah, I mean, they, they, they could have redesigned, they, they redesigned the pipe. I mean, I, come on, it's a pipe. I would have done a 2-1 one because one, then they could have done a nice slip on. Two uh, one, and then the bags would have been. I mean, it's, it's still not a. It's still not. A, you know, it's still it's, great. It's, to me, it's not a deal breaker. Yeah, it's, it's like not whatever. a deal breaker. No. To me, it's not a deal breaker. You know why? Because I would honestly keep my leather pros from this bike if I was to trade the other one in, and I'd rather put my leather pros you in the come bike. Come right off. Yeah. I come right off. I prefer my leather pros over it because they just have more space. 
They look better in my in my opinion. They do have a lot more. But room. if I wasn't gonna do that, to me, it still wouldn't be a deal breaker. A, a little inch or two and a half, whatever. I mean, who's gonna catch that? If you're riding from the front, yeah. I mean, from the back, you're gonna. Nobody's gonna see you that quick. You're being so gone. I don't, think, gone. I don't think people are. I think people are gonna be paying attention more to the fairing, more to anything else. Mm -hmm. You gotta literally be walking around that bike, and you gotta really be studying that bike because we kind of when we look at bikes is different from the average person. Mm -hmm. We study every little detail of it and look at every little. I can tell you what people have extra yeah. on their bike, I can tell, right? From, from a mile away. You see yeah. someone pull up, it's like, oh, he has this, 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 this that. that. Yeah, okay. Yeah, that refers to, oh, yeah, it looks like that bike. Right yeah. Yeah, it's not the same bike. Um, I'm, I, I love the design. I love the lines and the fairing. I love how the lines Color. go down on, on the bags as well. Um, and it's not that big. No. If you see on it, if you see it, you see the rider, they're kind of, they're kind of, I love the riding position. <laughs> they're, they're, they said they're, they're on the bike. They said the ST. They said that what happens are they, like on your low rider. Remember, I said they said it's more you're more laid back. Mm -hmm. The guy, the designer, was saying on the video. He said on the ST, you're more up front. Yeah. And I actually, I know you're gonna you're gonna challenge me on this or say you're three other way around. I'm not a big. I like the gauge reposition on the regular low rider, but I don't like the gauge. I actually like that digital gauge. I on don't the, like the gauge. I like the gauge. I like the one in the ST. I like yeah. the street bop gauge. You don't. I do. I think it's cool. You might not be able to read it, but I I think it's cool. I can see it. I prefer more gauges. Yeah. I prefer a full gauge. I I I'm, I prefer a full gauge. And do I prefer digital? The new one that's on the sports dress. Oh yeah, I, that, that would have been great. That might be next year. <clears throat> yeah, it might be next year. But but over that little one, over this the the, the street bob little mini gauge, I think it's cool. But I prefer a full round gauge, to be honest. Somebody mentioned on, on one of the YouTube videos that the reason they probably didn't use the Sports the Rest gauge is because of all the issues with the chips and they couldn't source enough parts. So next year we might I, see. I didn't think about I, that. Yeah. I didn't think I about thought, that. I, when I heard that, I was like, oh shit. I didn't think about that. That's, That's right. That, that could be it. Maybe they didn't have enough to do so. Because they're going to sell the hell out of these bikes. I hope they make enough. <sighs> Can I get mine already? Yeah, can I? I need a deposit. They're already can calling I? for deposits, all these dealers. I know. Um, amazing. I love it. Mm -hmm. Do you want one? Yes. Problem is... What color? I want a Gunship Grey. Gunship Grey is what I want, too. Would I be changing my bike in? I don't know. I kind of do want to change my bike in for that one. I want to trade it. But... That's why I'm not getting one. I'm, like, I'm, like, I, I'm not getting one because I'm not gonna have the same color bike as him because that's just. We get the black one, dude. No, I'm gonna wait for you to buy it and I'm gonna buy yours. Ah, uh, true. Very true. Very true. Um, that's all it. in out, great job, right? Oh yeah, absolutely. Amazing. No complaints. Like the Pricing. prices were right on. Pricing, amazing. Designs, amazing. What you guys are giving us, amazing. Really quick because my battery's about to die. The CVOs. The crazy flames, the flames are coming back. The 60s are back. Yes. Are you, you, you? 70s. You're, you're, you're from no, the I'm 60s. No, I'm a late 60s. I was born, I was two years old in the, <laughs> I can, I, you know, do you like the flames? In the 70s. I like the flames, but I like the blue steel. Yes. I want to see that in person. I like that. I like that. Honestly, out of all of them, blue steel is one of my favorite ones, but the one that kind of really caught my attention a lot was, um, they kind of all caught my attention because they're so really loud. Like the orange the one's orange. really nice. I mean, I gotta see them all in person, but right now my favorite's the blue steel. Yeah, the orange is pretty cool, and I love the red flames on the um on the yes, limited. Yes, on the trike and on the limited. And the, yeah, yeah. It, I don't like the name, but I like. Yeah, the but the, the flames are really cool. I I really I'm digging the flames. Yeah. Will the flames be? Will they be coming back? Are, are, are flames? The green one, not so much. I don't like no, I, honestly, I first saw it, I'm like, eh, and then in I saw person, it again. it might look. No, no, really then well. I saw it again. I'm like, that's really cool though. It might look really Our good. Are flames in coming back? I, yeah, maybe. Could we see a comeback? Could we be seeing a comeback? Could we see flames? a comeback of flames? Would you buy flames? You look like a flamer. No. You know. I kind of like the monochromatic, like the gunship. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. And the pricing wasn't bad on the CBOs. The only thing I'm disappointed about. They raised the prices. The only thing. Well, they raised. Well, they, they didn't go crazy. We were hearing rumors fifty thousand CV dollar CBOs, but they were also hearing one twenty twos and one thirty ones, and that's where I think they made a mistake. Is that it, they kind of diminished the, the CVO by not going to a bigger engine? But I think what what why they're doing it this year is because they're introducing the 117 into the STs. Yes. Maybe 2023 for the oh, yeah. what is it, 120 120 at the anniversary. 120 anniversary. New engine maybe. New yeah. engine. 131s on, on the CVOs. New obviously new special mm -hmm. uh, paint jobs and everything. Oh, so I think that's what they're waiting for. I already told my wife we're going, we're going to Milwaukee and, and put 120. Up. Thank you, Harley Davidson, for giving us what we wanted. Um, what do I what? I was gonna say thank you, Harley Davidson, for giving me what he wanted. I except that. for, <laughs> except for, come on, Harley Davidson. This is gonna be three years now. We're going on. Uh, LED turn signal. 
signals on all the bikes. Why? 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 It's so cheap. LED turn signals on all the bikes. Just add them, It's bro. just a little tiny thing. Just you add raised them. the prices. We didn't complain. Just, just a little just, tiny just, thing. Just add them. It's just something. Guys, if you're new to my channel, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Hit that bell button to notify you anytime I upload any type of new content. This is one of my best friends right here, Jerry, the coolest white guy I know. I'm gonna catch you guys in the next one. Oh, by the way, um, I have some huge news. I have some huge news! I, I'm gonna be making a, its own little separate video. It probably might be a two minute video, but I have the biggest news. And all these new bikes that you guys have just seen right here that just came out today, I am going to be 